Hey there folks, Jason Moffitt here, and I'm sitting in my tent on the roof of my house. I like to come out here, uh, just hang out. I may even sleep extended periods of time outdoors. I'm thinking like three months maybe, it'd be cool. Um, but that's not the reason I'm making this video. I'm making it because I wanted to talk about my Bikram Yoga experience. Uh, I did a blog post a few weeks ago after I went to one class and I didn't think it was fair to actually judge the whole thing until I've gone 10 times and it kind of reminds me of someone who like maybe go to a restaurant have a bad experience and then yelp about it and give a bunch of bad press when it could have just been you know an irritable waitress or something that wasn't really indicative of the whole place and so I think when giving a reviews I think it's helpful to have uh, you know a really grounded and open opinion about what it is and so I think 10 times going uh, to Bikram gives me enough of an idea uh, to give a fair review about it. Now I have to say uh, one of the things I suffer I'm kind of a slouch so I have all this back pain in my shoulders. I surf a lot um, and, and I slouch a lot. One thing I notice is my shoulders feel a lot more like lubricated and um, I just feel better from moving all the time and the heat is really it, feel, it feels good in there and in fact even yesterday it's almost addicting because yesterday I got out and then I went somewhere else and I was slouching on a couch and I just thinking like gosh I just want to be back in that hot room again it actually felt like a good place I wanted to be there um, when you're actually in it though you're like this is the most miserable thing ever um, but that, even I have to say that's getting uh, better and better today I was in class I was laughing and smiling through some of the uh, postures even when I was in pain um, it, it was nice and I think it partly has to do with the fact that like I know what the postures are and some people complain about oh it's the same thing every day and so they get a little bored I actually like that because even though it's the same thing I think you can go deeper into your practice every time and um, and I like variety. I thrive on variety. But there's something about doing the same thing and making me feel comfortable with it and then trying to go deeper into my pose and just get better and better each time. And it's going to take hundreds of times, I think, to really, really get into the groove. But um, also I noticed that my, uh, my sleep, I've always slept really, really well, but I'm sleeping really good now. And I'm waking up at like 5.30 in the morning a lot and just totally rested and wanting to go and then especially if I go to the 7 a.m. class get out at 8 30 I'm feeling amazing and it's like the day hasn't even started yet um, it's I like going early I like going early on an empty stomach in fact what I like to I like to wake up instantly and then like get up get stoned drink a bunch of water and then go to class on an empty stomach and it's oh, it's great. Um, one thing I noticed also though is my craving for beer is completely gone um, and it's become even a little troublesome because I have some buddies coming into town. I said I was going to buy them a beer or I'm at the bar at my buddy, with my buddies the other night and they buy me a beer and I almost can't get it down. It's weird as I'm cleansing out my body and sweating so much and I'm eating so much good food and surfing every day. Um, it's I just know the punishment. It's, it just doesn't feel good. I had three beers a couple weeks ago, one night, and I felt like I had a like crazy hangover from drinking whiskey in Long Island's all night. Um, so the cleaner I get, it's, it's getting a little difficult. Uh, I'm noticing my surfing is getting better. Actually, every single thing in my life is getting better, and it was already... I really didn't have many complaints. I have a very um, fruitful life. enjoy my... Um, enjoy my day-to-day -day process everything but it's getting like insanely better each day um, I cannot believe the things that I'm attracting into my life and I've been on about two months on this different journey kind of like a challenge where I'm trying to improve all areas of my life to be the very best person the very best man that I could be I feel very close to like attracting like the ultimate like life partner, business partners, um, partnership with myself, mo most importantly. And that's what I've been working on. And as I've been doing that, I've been trying to get myself in the very best place possible. So from there, I'm attracting all these things in my life from a really wholesome place and not one of needing to get something or needing approval or anything, but being whole. And um, 
every every day it seems to be just getting better and better and better the more i go to class um it, it's <clears throat> i love it I, i'm addicted i'm totally addicted to it and it's and i've been addicted to a lot of things but you just feel it like pulling you back there so it'll be interesting after like 50 classes like how addicting it will be. I also notice there's a big difference between 113 degrees and 107 degrees. Um, those like five, six degrees, even a couple degrees can be a huge difference. A um, couple instructors like to have the room really hot. Uh, I like it when it's on the cooler end because it's still still super hot. But either way, uh, I try to bear through it. It took me till my ninth class to be able to actually make it all the way through the class without getting down on my knees and like grasping for air and praying for death. Um, so I'm, I did my 11th, 9th, 10th, and 11th. I made it through all those classes. So don't be discouraged if you go in, you're like, I can't do this. A lot of my friends can't do it. They've gone one or two times and they're like, never again, I can't do this. Um, and they kind of wussed out on it. I think a very small amount of people I think actually can make it through. You gotta be pretty hardcore. Um, so, is there anything else? I lost some weight. You know, I'm getting more chiseled in different areas. I still got a way to go. Um, and then, you know, sometimes also, I feel a little, like, dazed and confused. Like, you're in, like, this yoga bliss where nothing really doesn't matter. And you're just so relaxed that I don't find myself being extremely productive. Um, especially if you mix, um, you know, other party... Uh, party things in there it, it really kind of make i'm already add scattered like that but something about the yoga brain it, it kind of puts my brain to mush a little bit but it feels great and i love it and um <clears throat> so i'm trying to work through that like try to wake up in the morning do my yoga thing try to get in some work and surf and balancing out but i have to say for 11 classes i love it and this is particularly just Bikram that I've been doing. I'm open to doing all different types, um, but I gotta say, I, uh, I'm really thankful, really appreciative of all the instructors that have been really helpful and um, patient with me and guiding me along the way and um, everyone in my life that, you know, massages my backs and chiropractors and everyone that helps take care of me. I love it and I, I love you guys, so. That's my review. If you haven't done a Bikram yoga class, I highly encourage you to do it. Give it a shot. Try it out. 90 minutes. You're going to hate it, maybe, most likely, um, at first, but I promise it gets better. My name's Jason Moffitt. Uh, if you want to check out more stuff, you can see my blog, jasonmoffitt.com, my business blog at profitmoffitt.com. Take care.